smells like typical bourbon. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. In the last few videos that I uh, made, I talked a lot about the American independence and how many whiskey distilleries celebrate that and the Seagrams that came from Canada and had the crown on it. So it's strange uh, American product. And now we have the Rebel Yell. So again, whiskey about the War of Independence? No, it's about the rebellion inside the United States. And that is about um, the Civil War. The Confederate, the South Southern States against the Northern States led by Abraham Lincoln. And now I want to read the, the side here. 14 years before the great victory at Shikamanuga, hopefully I pronounced that right, W.L. Weller founded our distillery and produced his first barrel of bourbon. Okay, so before the great battle, 14 years, is there a special meaning behind it? I don't know. So um, what is the Battle of Shikamanuga? And the Battle of Shikamanuga was, the, I think, the second biggest battle or one of the biggest battles of the um, Civil War. And the Southern stage actually won. So this whiskey or these people are proud of that. And they call themselves Rebel Yell, the Deep South. So they are definitely on the Confederate state <laughs> side. Okay, so... But I don't want to make any political statement about Confederates or Northern States, Southern States. I just want a good whiskey. So W.L. Weller, I'm, I'm familiar with the name. Um, there's a whiskey called W.L. Weller and that is from Buffalo Trace. So is this a whiskey from Buffalo, Buffalo Trace? No, this is not a whiskey from Buffalo Trace. And um, here it says, distilled and aged by Rebel Yell Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky. Did I do my research bad? Did I not visit this distillery? No, I, I couldn't find the distillery anywhere, the Rebel Yell distillery. And I found out that this spirit is actually from Heaven Hill. And that's from Bernheim, Louisville, Kentucky. So it matches with the, with the city. So uh, I would bet my life on that, that this is from Heaven Hill. Um, so, and also this is a wheated whiskey. Okay, so enough about said about what is behind this bottle. Let's have a try. Get a nice glass bottle, but you, you end up with a plastic cork. And what's the slogan for Rebel Yell? More, more, more. <laughs> nah, this, uh, I, I'm not actually familiar with this, the slogan, but um, it's not more, more, more. That's, that's from the song. <laughs> Mm. You can already smell it. It has a very, very big odor here. It smells like typical bourbon. Get a lot of vanilla. A bit of butter. You usually get more caramel than a bourbon, but there are many people that um, that say, yeah, with the with a bourbon you have that glue taste. I don't get the glue taste. If you look for the glue taste, you will probably find it in here, but I don't get any glue taste. I think, and with some um, very young bourbons like like the one or two year olds, then, then you have a very sharp note where you, where you could say, okay, yeah, that's glue. So um, I'm not that familiar with the glue though, because I don't sniff glue. So, um, yeah, so let's have a try. A bit, bit sharper than than the usual berm that I have tried before, but you immediately get um, buttery notes, sweetness, definitely sweetness, um, and honey. No, not honey. It's I would say 
Is it vanilla? I'm not sure if it's vanilla or honey. Hmm? Maybe a second sip will clear that up. It's a mixture between honey and vanilla. <laughs> I can't decide that. Hmm. But it's it's a nice whiskey. It's not got any distinctive uh, characteristic way to say it's very very smooth or it's very very spicy. It's um it's a uh, a good bourbon. I can't find that much weed in there. Maybe the percentage of weed is not that high. And yeah, it's a it's a good bourbon whiskey that you can can enjoy and if you'd like to know more, then please visit our website. Um, thank you for watching and feel free to share this video with your friends. <laughs>